What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk to you guys about some breaking news. It appears in a game that I've really been excited about, really been pumped about since its first uh, reveal has been delayed till 2016. The Division, Tom Clancy's The Division, no, has been delayed. And this is like something I'm really getting used to now. And I'm, I'm sure lots of you guys are getting used to this kind of shit too. Where a game is being revealed years in advance. Years in advance. They give you a, a you know, a estimated release window. And they fall short of it. And I think it's just becoming redundant. I think that... The, I made a video about this a long time ago. The developers need to start revealing games when they feel comfortable revealing them. And when they think that they can reasonably... Uh, you know, cr finish the game in a timely manner. I mean, what they're doing now is making vertical slices from an engine, and then they're showing you that they don't re really have a game built yet. And then, you know, their their release date is always, always far, far beyond what they what they foresee when they re reveal the game. And I think it's just unfortunate. I mean, if you take into account the games that have already been delayed, right? We got Quantum Break for Xbox One. That's been delayed. That, to me, is one of the best new IPs for the console. It looks fantastic. It looks like um, Infamous Second Son on steroids. It's like a, an amazing-looking game. It's supposed to be coming out very ambitious alongside a, a TV show that's supposed to coincide with a video game. That idea alone is really, really titilla titillating, and I, I was super excited about it. But over the last two years that excitement has died down now they've shown us some gameplay now we're waiting until 2016 to actually play the game the legend of zelda for the wii u that's been delayed till 2016 they showed us that now that to me isn't that big of a delay because fairly recently they showed us what that game actually looked like and so that's kind of you know understandable uncharted 4 a thief's end for ps4 the exclusive for sony uh you know they showed us this game it looked phenomenal but i was already in in the space that it was a vertical slice from the engine showing us pretty much what they had in mind and there wasn't really a whole lot of game behind it now that's been delayed home front was delayed i mean it's just insane and, and the thing is we got e3 right around the corner these these sony and microsoft and nintendo have got a bank on their games to actually release microsoft needs rise of the tomb raider to be on time they need halo guardians to be on time they need the next for Forza to be on time. If these games are late, it's really going to, you know, bode badly for these companies, and they've got to really step their game up. I mean, I'm in the mindset right now where I'm thinking quite possibly Metal Gear Solid, the Phantom Pain might be delayed. I mean, as close as we are, you know, because it's hard for me to trust developers now. You know, they show us a game, and then right when you think it's about to come out, bam, you get hit with a delay. Very seldom do you not get hit with delays. Everybody delays everything now, and it's really, really disappointing. But anyway, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this little footage. I just picked up this game, uh, Battlefield Hardline, for the Xbox One. I wanted to, uh, you know, get something new and something more for my Xbox, and uh, it's really, really a nice game. I really haven't gotten into the multiplayer because when I'm doing multiplayer shooters, I normally stick with Call of Duty. You guys, let me know if the multiplayer on, on this is actually any good. I just had lots and lots of issues playing multiplayer on Battlefield 4, and so I, I've just been kind of apprehensive about it. But I really, really like what they've been doing with the story here. The characters are believable. The game looks beautiful. And uh, what man wouldn't want to follow, you know, behind a beautiful Asian woman all day with a gun? Okay, guys, this story is on IGN.com. If you guys want to check it out, there'll be a link in the description. It says, Tom Clancy's The Division will arrive in Ubisoft's 2016 fiscal year, which ends in March of 2016. In addition to this, Rainbow Six Siege and an unannounced AAA title will also launch in the same window. These games are, quote, key drivers, end quote, for Ubisoft in the coming year, according to its investor report. Rainbow Six Siege will arrive in quarter three of fiscal year 2016, which means their fiscal year launches this fall, with the division following in quarter four somewhere between January and March of 2016. Quote, it is never an easy, easy decision to move a launch date, end quote. Ubisoft CEO Yves Gelmott said, stating that this is a move that has always benefited the company. Gilmott added that Ubisoft will announce the new game this fall. Gilmott declined to comment on whether or not it was a new IP or an existing franchise. All Ubisoft games going forward will be new gen only, Gilmott said, with the exception of Just Dance. Alright, so we got Rainbow Six, 
We've got the division and we got a new game. Don't know if this is going to be a new IP or an existing franchise, but it does sound kind of intriguing to me at this point. It is kind of interesting that Ubisoft is going to move forward with their technology and only focus on new gen or next gen consoles and leave the PS3 and the Xbox 360 behind. But like I said before, we're going to continue to see these delays until these developers get their shit together and realize that they're showing and revealing games way too fucking soon. You know, some developers need to take a hint, like The Last Guardian, they showed that game like 200 years ago, we still don't have it. And I'm, I'm getting tired of it. <laughs> anyway, you guys let me know what you think in the comment section below. Be sure to sound off about this. Are you guys depressed about The Division? Are you excited about their new stuff? Are you excited about it only being PS4 and Xbox One in the future? Let me know in the comments below. As always, guys, give a thumbs up and like the video. Show your support for the channel. And if you're new, subscribe. I'm The Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.